Hello and welcome back to the next part of Final Fantasy 2 playthrough. This should be part 19, I think. So I did level up a little bit more. I got back to the moon from the last video. So I got everybody pretty much to level 40 except for Edge, who is pretty close to it. So I imagine by the time I get to that, uh, whatever, palace or whatever that it is, if I can do a couple more battles, I should be able to level him up. And then hopefully I can use like an in there. Or something along those lines to level him up. <clears throat> if I remember this red worm is kind of a pain. Birdie poison, nice. Good way to start. Yep, love to see that. Like, I, I don't remember the worm having that much health. I know it has a lot of health, but damn. Relentless. Should give me some decent XP and hopefully everybody stays alive to get it. Seems to be one of my biggest problems, is keeping everyone alive for big gains. Thousand, pretty good. <clears throat> the edge has got to be like five to ten thousand away from leveling up at this point. But yeah, let's uh cure our poison issues. Heal those are okay. There we go. I've gotten to the entrance of this palace while I was farming. But I've never actually went into it. I wanted to do that on the video, so. Finally get to see what it looks like. I don't remember them poisoning me this much previously. Like all the time that I've been farming these enemies near the ship, like I've never they rarely ever poison me. And now that I'm recording, of course, it's suddenly poison city out here. This one gone.
that's unfortunate. The Rosa went down right as I was about to finish this battle. Of course, a big gain. Maybe it's as big of a gain as it is because there's less people. I don't know. Like, I swear, those enemies that hit me hard there, and I had to run away from that battle because I didn't really want to die. When I played this off stream, or off recording, and I was just trying to farm for some items, like, I promise you, I did not take that kind of damage. I was just like a healing thing. Yeah. Like, it's it's crazy. I did, I did not take that kind of damage from these enemies. They weren't poisoning me that much. It's like the game just knows when you're trying to do something. And they just start hitting you with shit they normally don't. I assume this by the same thing. Welcome. Guardian of the Lunarian Slumber. Lunarians. Oh shit, what a revelation. What a twist in the story.
so we got him in our party nice So with him and her party, one of the things that I want to do now is uh, add it to that dungeon that I entered originally. Is it the Bakhmut one or whatever? Because he's supposed to be pretty beneficial for all this stuff. I mean, he is, like I think, significantly higher level than us. Might as well try to do this battle. Fuck it. Ninja, Flame. Oh, I attacked the wrong one because his attacks don't only do jack to the things and all those enemies. <clears throat> so he's one of those that can do black and white at all the, the Grand Wizard. Definitely helps to have an extra person on your team going attacks. And Edge. Okay, Rosa gained level nice, and Edge finally reached level uh, level 40. So everybody's at least 40 now. Rosa and Cecil level 43, and then this dude's level 50. So. From my understanding, it's sort of beneficial to be around the level <clears throat> of the person that joins your party. So in this case, like him being level 50, it's ideal to be around that level. I don't think being level like 43 or 44 is too big of an issue, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure I have to uh, fly to the other cave that I need to get to. And I think it is just like a side quest type of thing, but like I mentioned, I need to I need the levels anyway, and it's probably gonna have some useful items, maybe like a weapon or armor that will help boost my stats up as well. So in the long run, it'll probably be more beneficial to me than not. And plus, once I finish this playthrough, I mean, I have so many other things to play through yet that I don't know when I would ever revisit this game. If And if I do, it's probably not going to be anytime soon, so I might as well try to at least get a good chunk of things done in this game. Look now. They'd also just start playing the new DLC for Final Fantasy 16 as well. Echo of something, I forget the exact name of it, but pretty interesting. Anyway, so we gotta go right here, I think. I'll probably, I'll probably say like right outside the cave or something, maybe close to the ship, one of those two. I don't remember, did I even... 
might have gone and grabbed yeah they didn't grab like a chest or two in here i kind of like wandered around the first floor i think when i originally came in here in one of the previous videos and i dipped out That warlock person alone isn't too bad. Oh well, yeah, some other other uh, individual helping him out. That's a little different. Okay. Should give me more XP though, which is nice. The one beneficial thing to having. To having uh, this Fusoyo dude on our team is now it's not just the Rosa that can like bring people back to life and stuff, so it's beneficial in case one of them goes down, you still have the other one. I don't have to depend on items as much, even though I do have like a million life items now that I bought, so. <laughs> I have not explored floor 2 yet, so... Being re... I wonder what kind of... Attacks work best against him. Also, I'm curious how much health he has. Definitely a hit, heavy hitter. 15 with the flame, okay. There it is. Why? We'll use the virus. Try that out on him. That does pretty decent damage, and the thing I like about it is that it restores some of the health, which is nice. Especially more beneficial in situations like this where it's only one enemy to deal with. So. Maybe I should have used Cure 3 actually. There. 
by regular attack. I think Flame didn't do that much. Obviously, he has some other ones as well to use, but... Yeah, it's much better. Okay, so sh this should at least give Edge enough health, I think, that if he gets hit again for any reason, he should survive, hopefully. Maybe not. Okay, cool. He's dead anyways. So it's level 44 now. Perfect. I don't necessarily need to take on every single battle. I am just to kind of get some more XP right now on a way to the end of the cave here for the battle. But I'm gaining so much gold now, but I wonder if, like, is there anything that I can actually use it for at this point in the game to, like, other than buying ethers and shit like that, which it seems like ether is probably one of the most expensive items in the game, other than, like, obviously weapons and things, but... Except some of his mana, since I don't really use it that often. If I can be closer, like at least with Cecil, be closer to like level 50 by the time, maybe like 45 or 46. By the time we get to whatever battle I need to actually. Okay, this one seems like it could be a pain in the ass, so I might dip for now, but get him closer to level like 45, 46. That would be nice. I think for this one, regular attack worked better. Like lightning three, something a little different. I'm not really sure what the weakness of this one is. I think virus has been pretty useful in the moon so far for most enemies, so fire kind of varies. Okay, so lightning actually works very well against this thing. Nice. I keep that in mind. I should probably, as usual, go through and heal up a little bit. Magic. Yeah, I should probably hit that dude with some ether as well. For how powerful of a wizard he is, and the fact that he's like level 50 and all that stuff, the amount of mana he has is kind of ass. So, 
item. Oops, it's not what I meant to do, but... I don't want to do... We'll do like two of those. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. I would imagine I should be approaching a save room soon enough. And once I do, I'll just... end up uh, using like a tent or something there. Whip. Diesel. This should just slightly improve my armor, probably not much. Yeah. But hey, any improvement is better than none, right? Can I equip anything that makes this dude better? Lunar. Oh, yeah, I think I might have put my... I either sold the wizard outfit that I had or I put it in my storage, which is unfortunate, but... I kind of had an idea that I was going to have this guy at some point, so I probably should have thought it through, but... If it is on the ship, then I'll go back. When I go back, I think at some point I'm going to have to return to it anyways to go... the tower. So I'll do it then. If not, then... Uh, whatever. Yeah, everything was happening so fast, I'm pretty sure I only used, like, a single thing for ready and not, not hitting all three of them with it, but I had lightning on these two. Actually, right here. I'll injure. Hit both of them real hard with it. One of these got to be close to dying at this point, I would imagine. A quake. I imagine Quake would be useful against a bunch of bones. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Edge gained a level. Nice. Love to see that. Because he is one way. I think he's the weakest one in terms of like leveling so far. Like, I mean, he's on par with Radia right now, but I think she's ahead of him in XP. Even, which is surprising considering that she missed out on like 90. She probably could be like level 42 or 43 at this point if she wasn't dead for 90% of the time when I get XP, big XP gains, so. There we go. Behemoth. Let's try regular fighting. Yeah, it does good damage. Regular fighting. And then we'll do call. Self. Black. Do lightning three. I gained nothing from it. And then she died. Well, does he have like a life too or something? Yes, he does. Perfect. Regular fight again. 
Oh yeah, I was rotated. I have like two now. Nice. Finally. That's like oh damn that yeah, that restarts over like full health, that's really beneficial. I forgot that she has a life two spell, she probably be using that instead. <clears throat> This fight is runnable, I might have to run. Unless this is like the main dude of the cave. I don't know. Okay, so virus doesn't do jack against this thing. Is this thing just resistant to all magic, essentially? Is that what I'm picking up here? Oh wait, I, I just fucked up. I use it on dead Cecil instead of on Rosa. That is uh, unfortunate. Okay, so some magic does some damage, but... Run from the shit. I guess he must be the main dude of this cave. The main boss, you could say. And I might be totally screwed. you could do like a life but like on everybody oh fuck dude I fucked it up I done fucked it up Okay, kill them. Redia and the other dude got screwed out of insane amount of XP, unfortunately, but... That was definitely something. That was definitely something. Holy shit. Move this up here, actually. And then, wait, let me see something. Here for...
I wasn't even like the main main villain. Or like the main boss of this dungeon. But you can't run from it either. That's the crazy thing. Battle is it's never ending. I gotta rearrange some of Fasoyo's stuff. <clears throat> That's really comes down to like Diesel and Edge doing normal attacks against this thing, do any sort of damage. I think Fire might have done. Is it Fire attack that did some damage to this thing? Might have been fire. How about Quake? Can you stop <clears throat> insta killing everybody? I really appreciate it. Going such a dick. He's really starting to hurt me. Fatal. I can't even use it anymore, okay. Grave Tower is a death blow right there from Edge. Fortunately, it's not. I right don't. And Radia, as per usual, Radia missing out on all the XP. Wouldn't expect anything else from her.
Basically, you can't run from that battle either. <laughs> Is it gonna be okay? God, thank God it's not that other attack this time. Can you like not run from anything in this cave? Okay, there we go. So, thank goodness it's not the behemoth, whatever. I'm gonna honestly save the game somewhere here. This. Uh, and of course, it's one of these. You can't run from these things, right? Just try some out of curiosity. What does Nuke do? I'm not even gonna affect it. Let's be some. His mana as much, but Mateo works nicely. And she misses out the XP again. Let's go. <laughs> I hate radio. <clears throat> this point, I feel like she just likes being dead. Starting to really think she enjoys being dead. Definitely spends enough time being in that state, that's for sure. Every shop I approach, I definitely need to buy some ether or something. <clears throat> as expensive as it is, it's definitely going to come in handy. Also, I guess the key to defeating these behemoth things is just use Mateo and hope he doesn't get killed before I use it. Is this going to be like a battle here? Uh, if so... Let me definitely make sure I have... Everything sort of figured out. Also, I'm surprised if this is the main... If there's like a battle here, I'm surprised there's not like a... 
save point anywhere. Like, if I die, I'm kind of screwed. Seems. Wow. Did I just do this whole cave for no reason? And then gain some XP? I guess there's like additional things I gotta do still. So. Unfortunately, this. This is sort of a failed attempt. I mean, it's still. I got some level, like XP out of it and everything, but. There's supposedly there's another cave that I gotta go to and do first before I can do this one. I have to go back to Earth, I think. <laughs> so. Okay, so we're going back to Earth sets off the next set of quests. Maybe I should have farmed down at the bottom more? I don't know. Did I even save where I left the bottom area? I don't think I did. I didn't screw myself over. Oh, is that the giant? The Babel giant or whatever? Yeah, I mean, I guess I definitely couldn't really complete that cave even if I wanted to, so. At this point, so I, yeah, I don't know. I hope it doesn't just throw me straight into this battle, because like I said, I don't really save, so I hope. I don't die. That's the case. I'd be really sad. Unfortunate turning of events. Shall fight for the Mother Earth. And dwarfs to the rescue. Oh, it's Yang. I 
understood. So if I didn't go to the other cave to get Yang, I wonder if he's still if it's still part of the game that he would show up or not. Kinda curious. All my friends coming to the rescue. There's Edward. John is intimidated. The giant of Babylon destroyed its control system. I was saying, I still hope I don't die because I haven't really had a chance to be able to save, so. <clears throat> down there. Yeah, let me, uh, magic. So I didn't really want to fight them the first time, but I do kind of want to, I feel like I gotta fight them at least once to get a feel for the power that they have. Both how much damage they output to me and then what kind of damage I can output to them. That sort of thing. You see where I stand on the blue chain. Two, two. Anybody need heal? Yeah, I guess. He does. Pirates shouldn't be that effective against machines. Surprise it was. Okay, Rose, I see you. Bring that work. Check XP we get for this. 4,500 and something. <clears throat> you kind of have to. A little bit of a time. Crunch here, so I do have to try to find a safe spot. Hopefully. I can continue exploring the rest of this after, but like. I'm gonna sort of save the game because I haven't really had an opportunity to do so. Okay, I get it. 
There we go. Down here. There's a chest over here somewhere. Got this chest. Cabin. There's a chest up there. Be fair, did not expect myself to be in this situation. I was hoping to just complete the. Well, I probably should have saved and just ended it there, maybe, but I was hoping to complete the Bakhmut dungeon and sort of just move on, but that was not the case. Down here. I'm excited. I imagine that would get us closer to the core, right? The stomach.
All right, guys, I'm going to end this part here now that I hit a save room. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.